Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today it's a match day preview. Luton Town versus Millwall. Just like any other match day preview, I do talk about the game before, and that was against Blackburn Rovers away from home. Now going into the game against Blackburn, literally I didn't have any expectations for that game. I just didn't want to lose. And to get three points away to Blackburn was a fantastic result. A lot of people had us down to lose that game because we obviously lost three games in all competitions leading up to it. But to get the win at Blackburn was just amazing. Like Collins with another goal to the season. Matty Pearson scoring against his former club, which ended up being the winner. It was just, it was a great away day. And yeah, I'm so glad that we got the three points. Regards to like the performances, like Pelly, I thought was outstanding. Butterfield literally made sure that Bradley Dack didn't do anything all game. He was brilliant. That decision there just gives Graham Jones another reason why he should have never dropped Butterfield because Butterfield, for me, is a really good player and he suits the way we play our football. Collins and Cornet just working so hard, trying to win the ball back, pressuring their back line. Easy Brown, yeah, he got the two assists. He looked good when he's on the ball and when he's driving. But for me, it's not what he does on the ball, it's off the ball, which frustrates me because he just walks around. Sometimes it's like having 10 men because he doesn't do that extra work. And I noticed against Blackburn that Pelly, Cornick and Collins were doing the running for him. He was just standing around on that. But hopefully he does improve. Apparently, according to Graham Jones, he isn't 100% fit. So yeah, look, give him a chance, give him a few more weeks, see what he's like, but he needs put more of a team effort into the side, I think, as well. But he got two assists, he set up the Collins goal. That was a really good assist, in my opinion. And obviously from the free kick to help Matty Pearson get his goal. Regards to the goal which we conceded, I still think we should have done better. There was about like seven players behind the ball and no one really closed down the, like, the player who obviously scored the goal. That could have easily been dealt with. But unfortunately, it wasn't. But we go again, and hopefully we can get a clean sheet very soon. So this game at home to Millwall, I personally think we should be getting points. This isn't dis disrespect to Millwall at all. I think the fact is, because we're playing at home, and we're playing against a team which were in the bottom half last season, and a lot of people think they're going down this year, I think we should be getting points. Our, hope, our away form is actually better than our home form this season. And normally, if, you, if you're going to stay up in the championship, you need a really good home form. So we kind of need to start getting wins at home, start getting points at home. And yeah, I feel like we should be doing that against Millwall. Player to player, I think we are very equal to Millwall. I think, we, in my, obviously, I'm going to be biased. I think we're slightly better than Millwall. But I still think we should be getting something from this game. Jordan Tunnicliffe is a former Millwall player, so he's hoping to have a really good performance against his former side. I did see that a few Millwall supporters were disappointed that they let him go, but it's now up to Jordan Tunnicliffe if he wants to have a really good performance. Millwall have got players like Matt Smith and Sean Williams. For me, Sean Williams is such a great player and I wish I had him at Luton. The way his deliveries into the box are really good. He scores free kicks. He's one of those players who Technically, he's really good on the ball and he can do a lot of things. And I've always liked Sean Williams and he's been up Millwall for a very long time now. A couple of stats to read out for you guys. Luton are without a home league clean sheet since March and that's been nine games. Two of the last four championship games involving Millwall contain a red card, one for and one against. Millwall have conceded the opening goal in their last eight away league encounters. Now, for me, if we can get the early goal, I think we can win this game. I think that we will be able to hold on. I think the game against Blackburn proved that we can defend a lead. We can defend winning a game. And, yeah, I think that will help us massively in this game. If we can get leading at half-time as well, get that early goal, leading at half-time, I think, personally, we'll be able to win this football game. Now, regards to the team selection... Don't change it. Keep it how it is for the game, from the game against Blackburn. I don't see any reason to change that formation or change the lineup. It worked. It got us the win. Players played well. 
there's no need to change it. So that, in my opinion, keep the same lineup and hopefully we can get some points at home to Millwall. So there you have it guys, that is the end of the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments section of this video. Drop a like if you did enjoy it. Comment down below your score predictions as well. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and yeah, follow me across all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video.